counting toggle buttons and sports code. So what I mean by that, is if I press Washington, his shooting stats are going to show up to the right here. So he was 4 for 6 for 66.7%. However, when I click all three players, I'm going to get their collected stats. So 6 for 10 for 60%. In any combination of these players I click, I'm going to get those corresponding stats, as well as the corresponding number of movies. So this is just my example here. I've got players and shooting stats. However, in your example, you could have, you know, you could have the game, so like versus Michigan, versus Michigan State, versus Illinois, and a player's stats depending on what game you've pressed down to the left-hand column, or you could translate it to whatever sport you're the analyst of. It's a very valuable skill to have in sports code, adding toggle buttons together. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually quite simple. I'm just going to start from the bottom up, doing three-point attempts. So go into my three-point attempts. It's going to widen this out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click create a variable of player01 equals button name player01. Now what this is doing, it's referencing the button ID of this first toggle button over here. So if I change the name of this button using the rename function to any other Ohio State player, I'm going to get the stats for that player instead. You might not need to do this for your, you know, your sport or whatever you're using this um, technique for because you might have you know, just the same toggle buttons no matter what, but just for this example, they're quite valuable. So three different uh, variables for three different button IDs. Now onto the if statements. Now this is the important part or where all the technical stuff happens for this concept. So if button, hashtag, quotation marks, player01, again referencing that button ID, equals state, Oh, that's not. If player one state equals one, which is sports code language for if this toggle button is pushed down, variable player o one underscore made because we're doing three point attempts, so we need to calculate the made and missed shots. So it's the first player's made shots equals label made three, which is just the name of the label. My timeline identifying a made three. Um, shot yours might be plus three or just three, but mine is made three. So label made three where bro equals player 01. Now the next part I'm going to add, and this is an important part, so I'm going to put comma. I'm going to copy the same variable and equals and put two empty quotation marks and then close the bracket. So what that's about is that this first part here, where, you know, where la label made three equals player 01. That's for if the state equals 1. So that's what this variable is going to equal when this toggle button is pushed down. Now we need to tell sports code what this variable is going to equal when it is not pushed down, when its state equals 0. That's what the second part here after this comma is saying. It's telling sports code that this variable means nothing at all when the toggle button is not pushed down. That's a very important. So we're going to copy this down. We're going to do one for the missed shot. So we're going to copy all this made into missed. And we've got both those shots. We've got a made shot and a missed shot. Now we're just going to do the same thing for the other two players. So I'm just going to cheat and come down here, get the made two and the made three. Come back over to my example button. Oh, it all disappeared. It's going to get all of it then. So now we've got our variable names, identifying our button IDs, our made and missed shots for all three players. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the, all of them together. We're going to tell this button what to show. So show, count, because now this is where we're going to count the labels. Count player01 underscore made plus count player01 underscore missed and do the exact same for the other two players so it's going to copy this paste paste swatch this one into twos and ones into threes and the final thing we're going to do so we're going to show. Uh, we're going to tell Sports Code what to show when this button is pressed movie-wise. So instead of putting count, we're just going to put or. So plus, sorry, or 
or or or and or so now when we press execute and go into report mode you'll see it mimics the three point attempts we're going to have eight ten when they're all added together just Washington Muhammad is eight just Muhammad is two Muhammad and Cardin is four all three of them is ten so it's really quite that simple you just got to add or identify three variables for your three toggle buttons that skip you might that step you might not even need to do have all your if statements so state equals one you've got to identify a variable and then also identify it when state equals zero and then add them all together using plus count for missed all I've done is removed oh, sorry for all the makes all I've done is remove the missed shots and the three point percentages all I've done is create two extra variables adding all the buttons together like I did in the attempts add all the made shots like I did together in this three point makes and then just do my normal percentage equation and I get my percentage as well. Now if you want to use this window as an example, you want to buy this window, you want to see how this window works, there will be a link in the description to purchase it for very cheap on a discounted rate. Or if you have any questions, my email is also in the description and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you very much, I hope this helps and happy scripting.